Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here. Got Clifford and Stacy with me. Hey y'all. And today we're looking at an experiment to prove that the poles have shifted. Yeah, you're proving the legitimacy of the compass and it's doing a shift. Yeah, um, we got a message in the comment section that something had shifted to go check the compass. And I had a compass handy, so I went and grabbed it and looked at it. And the first thing I noticed was that it was backwards. Well, you were amazed, yeah. Absolutely. The north was pointing to the south, and the south was pointing to the north. Mm -hmm. And so we went live on it, and we got people around the world to chime in on it. And there's several people around the world noticing the same thing. Right. Even Pe um, the Middle East. Middle East. Lots of people here in the United States. Georgia is experiencing it. Uh, we're getting some reports from... Arkansas. Arkansas. We're getting a report. And the thing about it, some of the reports coming out, well, all of the reports coming out of Ohio don't have a change. They, they're not experiencing a change in Ohio. Yeah, you have three subscribers that um, are pretty long-time subscribers, and they are saying that they haven't gotten anything. Absolutely. And so that would prove that you you know, wouldn't just give an answer just to, you know, appease us over here. You mm -hmm. know, they... Will tell the truth, you know. It's just like we respect any disciple of our Father to right. to actually tell the truth and you know say what they say. And they didn't actually say anything in Ohio, but we had other longtime subscribers um, um, who have who have reported changes in North Carolina, mm -hmm. um, like I said, Georgia, um, and several other places. But anyway, we know the comments in the in the section there aren't proof enough. So I started thinking, how is it that we can prove this scientifically that the poles are reversed? Okay. And so the only thing I could come up with is actually using the sun and its shadow. Mm -hmm. And so we set up this experiment. Right. We have a clock here so we can tell time. We have a gnomon here so we can see the shadow as it crosses uh, the sky. And then we have our compass there. But the thing about our compass is it's pointing in the wrong direction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so what we're going to see here is that this shadow cast by this gnomon is actually going to travel across this clock from west to east, which means that the sun is actually traveling across the sky from east to west, at least as far as we thought it was, because when we're looking at the compass, it says that the sun is traveling from west to east. You know, that's going to be amazing to see. As Well, it's actually going to be a pretty simple process here. It's, it's not that much to it at all. It's just a shadow and a clock and a compass. The only thing that's standing out is the fact that the compass is showing that the shadow is increasing in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. the, the shadow should actually be getting longer in the eastern direction as the sun goes down in the west. But what we're seeing here is that this shadow is increasing in the westerly direction according to this compass. Right. And it should be pointed out, you know, don't go outside looking at the sun thinking that it's going to be reversed in the sky. No, that's not what we're saying. Right. See, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, okay, so it's going. I'm going to see this with my physical eyes. Absolutely. But you quickly let me know that I'm not going to see anything. No, there's several people who have gone out and looked at the, the sun and say, oh, it's in the same position it was last week or yesterday. But that's not what we're saying. The sun is in the same position. The earth is in the same position. But what has changed is the compass. For some reason, the compass is pointing in the opposite direction. Hmm. Like, for instance, I mean, where we're at here, looking at my shadow here, where we're at standing here, Florida is that way. Mm. Right? Right. Florida is that way. Mm -hmm. But according to this compass, it's saying that that's north. Oh, wow. That's saying that that's north. Mm -hmm. Now, if you were to travel north, do you expect to hit Florida? Mm -mm. Absolutely not. Florida is only north to places like Cuba or Haiti or someplace like that out in the ocean. Florida right. is north to a lot of water. If we were standing here about 100 miles from Florida looking north, we would need some scuba gear or at least a boat. Mm -hmm. We would be in the ocean. Mm -hmm. But here we are in Alabama, mm -hmm. and we know that Florida is that direction, yet our compass is telling us that that's north. Mm -hmm. and, we, and we're saying it's around the world. But we know that's not proof enough. But what is proof enough, I believe, anybody who has a scientific mind, 
this will actually prove to them that this compass is somehow reversed and it's showing the opposite direction as they watch this shadow get longer and longer across the face of this clock. As time ticks along, this shadow is getting longer and longer just like it's supposed to as the sun sets. The problem is, is that according to this compass, the sun is setting in the east instead mm -hmm. of the west. Mm. So we're going to let this run for a little while. Maybe I'll give you guys a little taste of Direct Arbar's new song as we watch it march across the sky. I don't know if he would appreciate that or not. We got a chance to see his video come out today. Right. He has a new song coming out. Yeah. I don't know if he wants us to play it on our channel or not. Right. But mm -hmm. maybe we'll do something as we watch the shadow tick across this clock. Right. Mm -hmm. In the wrong, well, according to the compass, it's in the wrong direction. That's the only, and that should be noted. The only thing that's different is the compass. The sun is the same. The clock is the same. The shadows all still work the same. For some reason, the compass is pointing backwards. It's saying that the sun is setting in the east. Right. I'm an Israelite, I rap about the Bible, what did you expect? We the salt, patience of the saints, we gon' be ruling that. Messiah snatching crowns, he gon' show y'all what to do with that. The truth is back, trumpets in Jerusalem, let's get active. This our last shot, this one for the captives, the brokenhearted, the have-nots. Kingdom is the only thing we care about. Put in work. Hand to the plow, don't you dare stop. You in a bad spot, keep maneuvering, don't crash, I This feel like when you got your first fringes. Bright blue ribbon, the gold ones, they can't miss them. Yes. Hoping they ask about it, cause you memorized that scripture. Uh. Numbers 15 and 38, say you didn't, they might laugh now. Till they see the angels really with us, trumpets in Jerusalem, it's midnight. Aki, let's get it. Whoa. This, that, make you wanna fast and get your zeal back. Thumbs bruised up from all the pages you done peeled back. And just in case you're thinking that there is something wrong with this compass, let me, let me see. Let me show you. See how it's turning back now? It's turning slowly. That should be noted too, how slow the compass is moving. But you see the compass tracks correctly. So there's nothing wrong with that compass. And you see that shadow length. It should be getting longer as time ticks away. The shadow length is getting longer in the western. The direction means that the sun is going down in the east. Um, but one other thing I did want to show you guys is how slowly this thing changes. So, uh -oh. so I went and got me a magnet here. And I'm orientated to where it's normally supposed to be. That's the way it's supposed to be. That's normally our north right there. North is usually in that direction. But watch how slowly it goes back when I release it. So something's pulling on it. It's a conflict. So there's actually, in my understanding, the way the body is shifting so slowly it means there's actually two pulls on it. There's something else pulling, a stronger magnetic field uh, that's pulling on it from a different direction for it to move so slowly. And then you have people in Georgia, and it consistently across the board, people in Georgia say theirs, instead of pointing south like mine is, theirs is pointing east, southeast, or southeast. People in Ohio are getting no change at all. People in other states, theirs is pointing in a different direction. So I don't know if the poles have shifted altogether or if there's something else acting on these poles today. My UPS man, he, he, didn't, he didn't actually, you know, came by here twice today. He dropped off a package here at, at our gate. And then uh, two hours later, we came and saw him drop a package off right across the road immediately directly across the street now is his gps and stuff giving him problems we don't know that could be related or it could not but it's, i just saw it interesting 
that this UPS man will come here twice today. Again, notice how slowly it moves. It's like it wants to stay north, but it can't. Something is pulling on it from the south. Or what we used to be the south. And, and, and the thing about it, that's another a side note. Um, the poles are already reversed. If you think about it, why does your north pole on your compass point to the north? It's not supposed to. The south pole is supposed to point to the north and the south and then south and, and vice versa, just like it is. It's actually supposed to look like that now. Where this north pole, this north pole is actually supposed to be pointing south. It's supposed to have been doing it all, all the time because opposites attract. But for some reason, our North Pole points to the north as showing that the poles are already reversed since we came up with the idea of compass, since we created compasses and made them the way we have made them. We put that north hand on that one side and the other. The poles have shifted already or something. I, I guess that ain't true because the way you create a compass is you put uh, an electromagnetic field across a piece of metal. If you put the, uh, if you take a battery and connect a positive lead to one side of the battery and a negative lead to the other side of the battery and just wait long enough for it to get good and hot, it's actually going to line up the electrons in that metal and it's going to create a compass. And then all you need is a way for it to be suspended where it can turn freely and it will act as a compass. But the thing about it, the south on your new compass you created is going to point to the south and the north is going to point to the north which is backwards at least that's the way it always has been all of my life except today today for the first time it's pointing in the right direction where you have the north pole on the compass pointing to the south that's the way it's supposed to be but we're not used to that every time we see north we think we had north but that that's the compass is backwards the compass has always been backwards, but today it's switched back to where it's supposed to be. So, y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section. I think this is proof. Like I said, if she... Anyway.